Hello Drone Racers, I'm Mark and today on Drone Racer 101 I'm going to completely ignore this warning, but I'm doing it so you don't have to. This is the new battery case from Fat Shark. There are a lot of people that love Fat Shark goggles. There are a lot of people that hate Fat Shark goggle batteries. I've had a couple sets in the past that I honestly didn't use just because I hated charging them. But did you notice the extra on this? See that? That's a USB port. That is a game changer for these because these are a pain in the butt to charge and that makes everything right with the world, as long as you're not in a hurry. So it makes it really easy. You just take a USB cord here and plug it in and the little red light turns on. When it turns off, it's done. Now I'll say charging these from dead takes a long time, like eight hours long time, but it's well worth it because I can have a couple of them and I just keep it on the charger. So I go use this one, keep this one on the charger. And when I'm done with this one, I can just grab this one. So I can always keep it on the charger. I pretty much have to ignore the warning that says never leave charging on the battery unattended, but I guess I don't worry about that as much with USB for better or worse, use your own judgment. I'm not a role model, whatever. So I first got one of these with my Fat Shark Dominator goggles. When I got these, I got these not too terribly long ago and I posted a deal because you can get them from Hobby King, which I don't order from very much, but the goggles are $300 pretty much everywhere. And in this case, you can get the goggles with the new USB battery, which I thought it was gonna be an old battery. I was really, really surprised it came with a USB battery and then another battery and then a case to carry them with, which is really, really nice. I got it for $288, now it's $295, but it's still less than anywhere else and then you get some extras. It's a pretty good deal. I'll link that down below but that's not what we're looking at right now this is not a review of the goggles even though I desperately need to get that done we're gonna look at the batteries because no matter what goggles you use you may be interested in these this is the battery I've been using for a long time and this is the one that came with the Ishin EV100 and one of the reasons I loved it is it came with USB charging I did a teardown of this in another video but I have used this as my main battery even though it's pretty small just because of that USB charging it makes it really really easy to go it has a light on it and one of the things I'm really bad at it's not as bad when you're flying but when I'm doing reviews and I've got lots of things going on I am terrible at unplugging the battery from my goggles and killing it and I have destroyed several good 4s batteries because of that with these this has a low voltage cutoff so it won't let you go below a certain voltage the question we're gonna answer today is are these the same? Will they prevent me from ruining them? Are they good batteries? These are supposed to be 1800s, are they really? So should these be the new mainline battery? I have two of them now because I didn't think those goggles were gonna come with this when I got them from Hobby King. So I ordered one, then I was pleasantly surprised to have two. Maybe, I don't know, I guess, well, let's find out. So here's the testing I did. I started with a fully charged, pretty much battery, 8.33 volts. So that was pretty good to go. I decided I wanted to measure this and I could do it with my IDST charger. So I got that connected up. It said it was also 8.3 volts. So good to go there. I did this test inside of a bat safe battery. I did a review of one of these. I just feel safer doing testing, even though I'm not hurting on this very hard. I felt better having it plugged in. I'll do a review of how I do charging here in the near future. I need to because it would be an easy one to record. So I set it to discharge these batteries to 3.3 volts. That's as low as I wanted to go. These are LiPos inside. It's a 2S and I set it to 0.5 amps. Now, how did I decide on 0.5 amps? So I took a couple things here. I've got my Amway Commander goggles. I have just a 4S battery and I have the adapter that came with my Falcon goggles. Uh, the Amway Commander also comes with something similar. So I'm gonna connect that up here and get these powered on. And then I grab my clamp meter, which we will zero out here and just clamp this on. We'll see if that's the right direction. And it was about 0.25 amps that it's drawing. So I honestly just didn't wanna wait that long on the charger. So about a quarter amp is what the goggles draw. I've tried this with a couple. The fat sharks were pretty much exactly the same. So in this case, I doubled it to half an amp. So it's gonna draw a little harder, but it still goes for quite a while. The charger wants me to confirm that a 2S, you can't use the balance charger on here. See that these are the same stupid connections which don't have a balance port on them. So you can't charge this in most chargers very well without doing some funky stuff. In this case, I was just able to say, hey, discharge it without it. So here we are after almost an hour and a half discharging that way. And I'd taken about a thousand milliamp hour, one amp hour. And we were down to 7.3 volts, which is 3.6 and a half 
volts each per cell, each of the two S. So that's after two and a half hours, that's pretty good. When it finally stopped, it stopped with seven volts left and had taken out 1800 milliamps, which is exactly what these are rated for. And it took four hours. So if you take that half, that's about an eight hour usage with your goggles, which is pretty darn good. It came out exactly as rated at 1800 milliamps, which is great. But my curious part was I had set it to run it down to 6.6 .6 volts and it stopped at seven. So I got curious. I still did power on. I still had the lead light, which is one of the things that uh, is great about these. My voltmeter showed it was dead on right at seven volts. So then I did it again, actually to try and get it down to 3.2 volts to see how low I could get it to go. And it ran for just a couple of minutes and automatically kicked off. Then I measured it again and then it read zero volts, which is a good thing in my mind. So what that means at that point, these had automatically kicked themselves off. Hopefully the warning in your goggles had already gone off so it knew that the battery was running low so it wouldn't just die on you or your goggles have an OSD so you can see the voltage in them. But it meant we weren't killing the batteries, which is a great thing in my opinion. The kickoff might be a little high, it's at 3.5 volts per cell, so I wouldn't mind running them a little lower than that, but it's a great thing that it actually will do that on its own and not just kill the batteries. Really because of that feature and the USB charging, these probably are going to be my main batteries. So since I tore down the other pack, I kind of feel compelled to do the same thing here, just to take a look. It shouldn't really be any reason for you to do this with this battery but if you need to there we go there we go pops right open what will be interesting though is the old batteries didn't have this usb connection on them there we go it just clears right off so there's the board one screw so it is interesting that they use real lipos and not lithium ion in here Here's the board, I finally got that out. And the LEDs that we've got, this battery is fully charged. The, S the USB connector that they've put on here. There we go, they have double stick taped this in here so to make it stick in place really well. So here's the rest of the board. So we've got the positive and negative just connected in here to the pads that I don't see any actual circuitry in here like we've got on the Ishin battery. This is the balance port. So if you wanted to, for some reason, make this balance port actually balance, you could add a third wire here and connect it to this pad. I think I'm not going to do that. I have no reason to do that now because of the USB port. So what's got to happen though is there's got to be a cutoff. The cutoff has to be in this board. I can't get to it any further because it's really just soldered in here and without taking it further apart than I really want to and actually desoldering it to take a look at it. I got it uncovered here, but that, that's all we can really see, unfortunately. In this case, I'm just gonna trust that I really like this combination and USB charging has solved everything I hated about Fat Shark batteries in the past. I'm gonna go just put this back in. Tape is covering eh, well enough. I'd say that was a little less exciting than what we had with the Ishin, but it's because it's a little more straightforward. Pop that back on. So yeah, so yeah, don't do that. Just use this and charge it. One of the things I was most excited about the EV200 was that it was gonna come with a bigger battery. Like I wanted this same thing. This has been my main battery and it has been outstanding, but it is only a thousand milliamps. The EV200D I think was supposed to come with 1800 if it ever shows up, but we've already got it and it's priced pretty well and as long as it keeps working long term it doesn't just peter out after so long and hopefully with the usb charging it will last longer and they will be better long term batteries i don't know time will tell i've probably only gotten 10 charges through this and i tend to keep mine charged a lot i haven't totally run it out at all yet but partially because it's very easy for me to come in set my goggles down and plug in the battery and just keep it charged all the time which is what i appreciate i probably won't use any of my other options anymore besides these two well these three. These are the only ones I'll use because I can just keep them going all the time. So if you found this useful, leave a like and a comment down below and let me know what your favorite batteries are. Before these came out, my favorite was probably the ones that use the 18650s. This is the one that comes with the Falcon goggles. It's really nice and has some advantages. Fat Shark also makes one that comes with 18650s, but you can't charge it normally. So do you want to see a shootout for 18650s? I have a several and I ordered them planning to do that, but then I bought these. Maybe I guess the question is, are these worth it? Are these better than these? 
So until next time, remember, I'm pretty sure it was Ishin that had the first USB charging. J just, just saying.